Clark, owner of Clark's Bar, Embassy, Gaming House, and Hollow Street Arcade. And you're listening to The Neutral Zone with my bastard son, DJ Grom, right here on Subspace Radio, the voice of Star Trek Online. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick addendum to last night's uh, broadcast that I did. Uh, not broadcast, <laughs> a little tutorial I did for the Bard's Tale. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm DJ Grom, Subspace Radio's only Ferenga DJ. And uh, if you viewed my prior video, you would see that um, I showed you how to super cheat your way through to level seven to 10, right? Pretty easy. After that, you're gonna want some challenge, you'll be bored. Um, but the point being, uh, this is for the Bard's Tale, I forgot to, one important thing. Um, look at my guys first off. I'm exploring already um, level nine, so I got there. So this is basically where you want it to be. You'll notice that my strength, dexterity, and constitution are all 18, while my luck and my IQ seem to have been ignored. That's not an accident. This is the secret. Um, well, I had to do this earlier. I had to record it while it was happening so you would get the idea. But uh, this is to avoid any confusion um, over saving uh, how the game saves. So basically, my money, your money never gets saved. You pool your gold. When you load your guy, your guys load with zero gold on here. So anytime you're duplicating, you want to make sure you save your money. Pool all your gold. Remove that guy, right? Um, and there we go. How come it won't remove? <laughs> oh, continue, that's why. Uh, remove one right now. All the gold saved, right? So before you do any of that, you always do that. So now we know DJ Grom has all the gold. Um, what we want to do is I'm going to show you how to save scum. So I had to do this earlier, so I leave it up to earlier DJ Grom to explain save scumminess. This is a prior um, <laughs> recording. Uh, I just wanted to show you how um, this is the equivalent of save scum for when we used to cheat back in the day. I went out and leveled. Uh, don't mind the uh, <laughs> crazy armor class. My guys are only like level three here. Um, I totally didn't duplicate armor and cheat. No, to get these guys up to level ten. Uh, but yes, I did. All right, I'll admit it. I can't hide it. Look what I did. Look at this. Look at my bug. He's all ducked out. La 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 la. Look at that crap. That's all awesome. Shield ring. I had one shield ring. Um, <laughs> but it's not what I wanted to show you. I'm just bragging. You go to the review board and let's start at the beginning. DJ Grom, obviously awesome. Super strength. Uh, you can only get to 18. Super constitution. So he wants dexterity, first and foremost. That's what I'm gonna go for. Same thing with Raptor, he needs some strength and constitution. So there we go, I might as well check the hunter. The hunter uh, just needs constitution, dexterity. All right, so we need fighter-based stats, right? All right, let's go in. Advancement, DJ Grom. Oh, IQ, DJ Grom fails, remember that. Advancement, Raptor, eight points. <laughs> oh, 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 how insulting. Missing bells passed. Constitution, I accept. I'll accept that. Uh, the bard, who cares, bard can get anything. Uh, strength, all right, good stuff. Now the important thing is Nala, who needs dexterity or intelligence. Nala, five, strength, Nala fails. Oh, oh, six. Claudette gets dexterity. Claudette passes. So DJ Grom and Nala failed. That's what I recall. So since Claudette passed, uh, we'll go to Claudette. Uh, yeah, you can pay the two grand. Boom, Claudette passes. Good for you, Claudette. Exit. Uh, let's give all the money to Claudette since she passed. And this is where the cheat comes in. You would like this. Raptor failed too, but... <laughs> Only because he's eight XP shy. He didn't fail. Actually, sorry, Raptor. He didn't fail. All right, so Raptor can be removed. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bells. She passed. Melos and Claudette. Nada and myself failed. 
So, oh, oh, what's that? Someone, don't come near the power cord. Oh, oh, the count of power. Whatever will I do? Oh, you dirty pricks. You killed my guys. Oh, I was so strong and powerful. I had just gotten intelligence boost. <laughs> and Save scum, and Oh, here we go. Sorry for the neck of this quick little intro. There we go, back to the review board. DJ Grom, how are you doing? Oh, IQ, you dick! Pissed off! Oh, IQ, nada. How are you doing? Dexterity, nada passes. Oh, nada. You're so lucky, lucky, lucky. We gotta give Nala money now. Oh, Nala needs the cash. Give Nala the cash. Ah, uh, DJ Grom failed again. You see what I'm doing now, right? <laughs> uh, spell acquiring for Nala. Yeah, Nala passed. All right, so we'll go back. Uh, if only I could fight something that was worth 8 XP, right? <laughs> so, uh, everybody saves but DJ Grom. DJ Grom. Ah, power! Oh, quit resetting my computer, Dad. You're wrecking my guys. See, for those of you who don't understand, <laughs> the only thing that's not, well, your guys are saved the moment you hit remove. Up, when you play them, nothing happens, so. DJ Grom. DJ Grom. Let's see if I can do the run with just DJ Grom. <laughs> Brave big balls from DJ. Ah! Should have brought Raktor. I couldn't even run. Oh, this sucks. Come on. Oh, I need Raktor. Next time I take Raktor. No. Oh, I gotta run. I wanna run. Alright, uh, run. There we go. Oh, that was stupid of me. Advancement. Who will be reviewed? DJ Gum. IQ! <laughs> All right, that's it. I gotta just reset it right here. Boom, dead. <laughs> Advance. Nope. Okay. One. I'll take Raptor with me. That would have been awesome. <laughs> I would have killed him if Raptor. Advance. Ah, screw it. Just bring everyone. Dum 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 dum. Oh wait, let me see what I need. Because I don't need strength and I don't need cost. I need dexterity or luck, not IQ. <laughs> and I got IQ every time. Uh, How did I get so close to 10 grand, right? Advanced mid, DJ Grom. Dexterity! Oh, thank you, thank you. That was wonderful. <laughs> now we just do the same to Raktor off camera. All right, DJ Grom. Remove, remove, remove. Back to you, my friend. Thank you, thank you earlier, DJ Grom, on explaining that so eloquently. Uh, much appreciated. All right. So what we're going to do here is, this is just a reminder, I own this game. I've been absolved of all guilt from Brian Fargo for backing the Bard's Tale 4. Plus, he gave me this cool-ass emulator right here that you don't have and I'm not giving you. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, so my guys are, as you can see, twinked to snot. Because all I'm doing is I'm going inside um, Tarjan's lair uh, right here. I've mapped it out carefully. Uh, if I can find a paint. This is where we're in now. We're in Tarjan's lair, right? Um, that's, of course, uh, the Mad God's temple. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is simple. That's where the best XP is. You can level up to level 13 right here in Mad God's Temple. So it, from my prior video, we leveled here. Run to the, um, you can run to the sewers if you want. Same XP, same uh, creatures as if you just did this thing. But once you get to about level seven or eight, you go inside, you do your thing. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. But to give you an idea why you do that, uh, let's see Raptor. Raptor's skill set. He's got 18 strength, 16 dexterity, 16 constitution. Pretty spectacular, right? Um, no, 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 no. What am I doing? Cancel. Done. Chee. Uh, missing vows, 18 strength, 17 dexterity, 
18 Constitution. I'm only level 9. You do this at the beginning, you set your guys up. Look at my low ex um, armor class. Sure, <laughs> I cheated my way through. Everyone has a duplicated shield ring. Everyone has a duplicated Mitchell shield. But the thing is, you fight in uh, the dungeon, uh, the one in question right here, the Mad God's Temple level 1. You start here, you just come in, you go up here, bam, fight. Come down here, skip this one, because these ones with the lines are whites or rates every time. Ghouls. They're things undead that make you old, all right? So you just skip them. You just come in here and you kill this one, kill this one, come around here, kill this one, and then you leave. You exit. Once you're outside, you come back in or heal up at the temple if you have to. Uh, go to see Roscoe if you need spell points. Come back in. Kill this one again. They, they come back every time. Skip the race until you got about minus five, minus six armor class. Then they can't hit you. Otherwise, they'll make you old. They'll cost you money. That's all I'm saying. You don't want old money, okay? <laughs> as much as it sounds good, it's, oh, it's old and broke is what it is. But look at this. 18 strength, 18. You need Malouse with good dexterity. Your bard has to breathe the fire. I got 18 dexterity, 17 IQ, it doesn't matter. This is what's important for the bard. Constitution's where I'm focusing now. Um, and then my wizards, let's see how my wizards are doing. Nala, how you doing, Nala? Oh, Nala, so sexy. Uh, dexterity, 18 IQ, 18. Ba-boom, ba-boom, you see that stuff? That's the power. Right there, I get my spells off. If I have to do a pinch play, <laughs> gotta pinch one, right? Uh, six. There's Claudette. Dexterity 18, IQ 17. IQ, high IQ, very low is important because you gain more spell points. High constitution, of course, you gain more health. My mistake for Nala, poor Nala, was that I had lousy constitution for her. Now her constitution, it was like seven or something, I brought it up. So that's all you do. Next goal, 80 grand. When they get to 80 grand, you save them, you run in, you save scum that's not out of them. Um, with DJ Grom, because he's got everything. Because uh, <laughs> I'm good, right? Um, right here, DJ Grom. 18, 18, 18. I could just accept uh, anything and save them. I could do that, and no problem. That's a good thing to do. You give them all the money and you save them, no problem. Anytime you're not gonna save somebody, you make sure you, you save your money on a pulled guy. You will lose money. I like to use a bank character to throw the money off because if you're duplicating and playing around, you will lose money. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Uh, so see, he's got 18 everything. What I'm even doing now is I won't save him unless I get like a lot of hit points. <laughs> And then, because who cares if I gain IQ or luck, right? If I get like three hit points, I'll just do them again. And I'll save him when he gets 11. <laughs> That's it. That's how you rock the socks off. Ultimately, all of this advice is squat if you're using an editor and cheating your ass off. <laughs> all it is. So get your guys to about level 13, 14. Then you get Claudette gets to level 7 mage. Nala gets to level 7 Conjurer, you switch them. Then Nala becomes the Conjurer, Claudette becomes the Mage. It's, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Nala becomes the Mage. You swap them because ultimately you want four schools of magic. Uh, you know how it works. If you don't understand that, read the goddamn manual. <laughs> All right, signing off. I'm DJ Grub, Subspace Radios, only Frankie DJ, and this has been my Bard's Tale tutorial, part two.